I just got my dish. <laughs> and I like my candle. Um, and here it is. This is spaghetti. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, it smells good. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad I left that place. It was so awful the other day. It was so unfriendly, and they brought me spaghetti that looked. It felt like I'd just come out of the box. I mean, al dente is one thing. That was ridiculous. He was very angry because I had come to the restaurant the other day and stood outside and just asked a couple of questions. And he was yammering about the place. In fact, I didn't come in and eat. But now I'm here, so all is forgotten. And I got spaghetti con anchovies. Mmm, good. And um, I ordered red, but then I said, should I get the white? What goes better? They said the white, so I switched to white. And uh, I love the fact that it comes in this little scoff. This is what they do to all the dishes. They serve it here in a pot. I don't know all the dishes, the two I ordered. They serve it in a pot, tied up with a little scarf to keep it warm. How cute is that? How cute is that? Then afterwards, you can put it on your head and make believe you have a bush. <laughs> so, that is it for now. I'm going to taste the food and then I will tell you how it is, okay? Cha cha. I got to tell you, it's absolutely marvelous. Spaghetti with anchovies, okay? Some tomatoes in there. Mm. This is eight euros, if you can believe that. I'll give you the name after it. Delicioso. Good. Friendly atmosphere. Versus that other maniacal place. Restaurant slash concentration camp. Alright, let me up a nice little glass of wine. That's three. The dish is eight, eleven bucks, and you're golden, okay? That's all. Um, thank goodness I said, non troppo al dante, because it's still pretty hard, but not as bad as the other place. I think you have to say super non troppo al dante. <laughs> all right, I can't help it. I was brought up as most Americans with spaghetti. That is cooked a lot more than it is in Italy. So it's a shock to your system. You come here and you bite into the spaghetti and actually hear the crunch, crunch. I'm like, what is that? That's the spaghetti. After the first time I had it, I thought that they had put something in there by mistake, like a, a, a stone or a piece of sand. I said, what is that? Hot? That's the spaghetti. <laughs> Hi, it's good and it has a delicious taste. So I highly recommend it. All right? If I, I'll come back if anything else useful happens that I think you would benefit from. But this is so much better. What a difference between the food I had yesterday and it was that pizza from the famous pizza place, Michele. It was bland, it was awful. Sometimes restaurants kind of rest on their laurels, they, they stop trying, especially when they have a following. And that place next door, I don't get it because this place is empty. You think they'd be trying? But this is spaghetti with anchovies, anchovies chopped up. You don't really see them; they're kind of ground up. But it makes the spaghetti delicious, and they put garlic in. Mm, excellent. Eight euros. Come and get it. There's a piece of actual whole anchovies in here. Most of them you can swallow them, but some of the sharp pieces you gotta take them out. But you know, for the most part, you just eat it. It's really so unique. I will never get anything like this in the States, ever. This is very Salerno, Napoli specific. And Mama is usually in the kitchen, but because it is um, Tuesday, um, Martedi, I guess they untied her from the stove for one night. <laughs> then I have time to go and take a bath and rest for a little bit. And I'm sure she'll be back tomorrow. And um, her son works here as a waiter. 
That's how I know Mama works in the kitchen. <laughs> the other way, he's very friendly, fun. He's not here today. Mama's son is more serious, but he's nice. And, um, yeah, that's all. So it, I'm so glad I left that place. Oh, what a lesson. If you find a good place, stick to it. Okay? And it's eight euros. How are you going to go wrong? I got to get the name of this place for you. If I remember. It's right around the corner from, from where I'm staying. So if I don't, I can still come the next day and just write it down. Something with the word tripa, which is tripe. Oh, what's the name of it? Something, something tripa. All right, I'll find out after. Ciao. Okay, I got the story all mixed up. As usual, disolito, as usual. <laughs> all right, I was told that the waiter, his mother usually cooks. So I thought this other guy was to cook for tonight. He said, no, I'm the pizza chef. So I said, well, who cooked tonight? He's the chef. But well, what's up? <laughs> what a mix up. You get the funny situations when you don't know the language and they don't know the language. And <laughs> you're just muddling through. But if you're with nice people, it's fun. So the guy, he had such a mean look on his face. But when you started talking to him, he was so nice. So I had, I stole the candle from the other table because I just wanted the table to look warmer and they left so I said, why not just take their candle? And uh, as I said, that it was excellent. I just couldn't finish because I don't eat that much anymore. I, I don't, all I had today was half a croissant, a little tiny bit of jam, some espresso, a small gelato, and this. I mean, it's like under a thousand calories. I'm surprised I don't weigh 80 pounds by now. But uh, with all this walking, are you kidding? But um, excuse me. I, I don't know, I, I, I eat so, so little. I get filled up. Like after I eat, I don't know, half a cup of food, maybe one cup of food, boom, I'm done. No appetite. But I do get hungry later on. That's why I start squirreling around during the night. <laughs> making these 2 a.m. raids on the refrigerator because later on I do get hungry. I just can't eat much at a time anymore. I used to be able to eat a nice big plate of turkey and mashed potatoes, but now, I don't know, something happened. I can't eat that much. I just can't. Small, small amounts, and not even like many small amounts during the day. Like one tiny amount at night when I wake up, I have a tiny amount during the day, like a snack, like a gelato, and that's it. I don't know what happened. Like I said, you did think I would weigh 80 pounds, but no. I've, I've lost a little bit of weight, but not that much, considering I've been walking average, average, three miles a day, many times more than that. Some days I honestly have walked 10 miles a day and almost eating nothing. And I think, you know, I only lose a few pounds, it's crazy. But um, anyway, this place was great, and I hope that if you come to Salerno, please come here. Because these are fun people, and they make unusual, really, not unusual, home-cooked Neapolitan uh, meals, authentic. Most of the places, they just serve the tourists are all spaghetti with clam sauce, spaghetti with shrimp, yada, yada, yada. Here you get spaghetti with goat. <laughs> spaghetti with sardines. Spaghetti with lard, which is pork. Spaghetti with onions, which is just a bunch of chopped up onions and some beef. Oh my goodness. If you bring it home, your whole house is going to smell of onions. But I mean, it's very, very authentic. It's like they recreate dishes they had growing up. And it's unusual. It's not like anything. I'm from New York. I've never even seen these kind of dishes in an Italian restaurant in New York. Which we're famous for having authentic Italian food. No. This is really authentic Neapolitan dishes, family dishes. So I do hope you'll come. And, um... And uh, they have the red wine for $3, $4 for um, oh, red or white, 
four uh, euros for half a crab. I didn't get, I didn't make that mistake the last time. Oh my goodness. I had so much wine on that table, it was embarrassing. I was asking people at the next table to please drink some wine. <laughs> I wisely got a glass this time. I learned my lesson. All right, I hope you come here. And as I said, I do this from the heart with love to try to help people like me that don't have much money, but we still deserve to have a little fun and travel, I think. So I try to help you out, and I hope you'll come and I hope you'll subscribe and give me a thumbs up because I, I work very hard with sincerity trying to find good places for people like me that don't have much money because you shouldn't have to stay home and not see different parts of the world just because you happen to not have much money. Save your pennies, get the cheap airfare, get the Airbnb or cheap B&Bs and then strike out, okay? And have some fun, all right? I love you. I did it again. I said I love you. I can't help it. I'm so full of love. <laughs> All right. Good night. Unless I see something interesting later on. I doubt it. I think I'm just going to get some rest. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm full. And now I want to get a little rest. Good night. Bye.